I Bears team, uh, Robot versus Burnout. You know, the Cy Bears team names are so metal. I love it. Yeah. Now, uh, what, what we've heard from Control is that right now there's a couple second delay. So, uh, Kyle, we've, uh, we, <laughs> we've maligned somebody by saying earlier that Yeah, that was a technical error. They did not actually yeah. fall start. The, at the box, they're being told to go. Yeah. But what we're seeing on the screen is a slight delay on that. So the fights are starting a little bit earlier than what you can tell and, and uh, ending a little bit earlier. Yeah, and then a little bit later as well. Now, Burnout looks to me, Kyle, like a kind of bison-esque lifter, would you yeah, say? Yeah, with, uh, with the little rabbit ears. Yeah, I love it. A little bunny. A little bunny. A little bunny. Gotta love the name Burnout. Yeah, that pin is getting counted down right now. You're only allowed to pin your opponent for... 10 seconds. 10 seconds at a time. Yeah. Then you gotta let him go. Scab armor trying to... Trying to get that weapon up to speed. That's not really working out for them, though. Now, uh, with with Burnout, I mean, this is a control box. You want to rack up points through aggression and control. You want to try and pin as many times as you can. And really, it comes down to pushing power. I agree, yeah. Pushing power is what you want. And when you've got a full-wheel drive robot, you tend to have the advantage in that part. That's true. Just more contact with the ground. And in this particular case, probably more motors driving your wheels. That looks like Scab Armor's weapon has been dead for most of this match. Yeah, this one's likely going to go to the judges, which means Scab Armor's got to show a lot of control. Now, on my notes, it, it says that Burnout was originally supposed to be a flamethrower. So, uh, I'm wondering if there is uh, room the for name. a flame tank inside of there. You know, some kind of... Accelerant instead of that, that robot's body. Yeah, interesting that we're not seeing that. Maybe they're saving it for a little bit later today. Couldn't quite get it ready yet. 60 seconds left in this match. Chris Perk. just joined us back here at the announce desk. Hello, that, hello. That makes me think that his box ready to go. Is that right? Well, they're frantically applying gorilla tape to it in the back. Like you do. Like you yeah. do. Right. Um, 40 seconds left in this match. It also just became a multibot. <laughs> oh. uh, on purpose? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good pin from Burnout. Absolutely. Burnout is absolutely uh, racking up these control points here. All right, so we're 10. Oh, yep. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the actual That's end the of this match. fight. This one goes to the judges. So sorry about the technical difficulties and the visual confusion there, but this one's going to go to a judge's decision. Kyle, we started with Diana. We did. Maybe we could start with Jack Tweedy this time around. Your thoughts on this fight? Burnout versus... Little Judgeon by Jack and Diana. Cybers. Yeah. <laughs> I have to give it to Burnout because it was the only bot there that really functioned or did anything for the duration of the fight. So, yeah, one vote has to go to Burnout. Agreed. All right, we've got one vote for Burnout. How about you, Don? Yeah, go and Burnout. They got two pins in and uh, Scab couldn't really utilize their drive or, and never had their weapon. All right, we've got two votes for Burnout. Diana, will this be a unanimous judge's decision? It will be. Burnout showed a lot of control and aggression during that fight, so I'm gonna have to go with Burnout as well. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's decision for Burnout, which advances in the winner's bracket. Thanks so much, judges. All right, we're gonna head over to cage one. Yep. See them loaded in. This is ZZ Bot and Steve Campbell versus Scrapper. Scrapper is a brand new robot run by Leo. Uh, 